this is the black voltage controlled envelope generator from Erica Sims. A full four stage attack decay sustained release ADSR envelope with CV of all stages with attenuators, gate input, trigger input, LIN or log switch which is fully linear or log attack exponential decay and release on the log switch. Output which is going into the data scope so you can see what's happening when we patch this up. An expander where we can have logic based outputs which for attack, decay, sustain, release will give us a gate while that stage is active. We get a bipolar output, an inverted envelope output and a copy of the envelope. So it's a mult. EG2 is EG output. The CV output is a unique feature where instead of a gate that's active per stage on the expander, it actually chops the envelope up. So if you imagine taking the attack stage and just chopping that off so you've got the rising voltage and then it snaps back to zero, that's what that would give out. The decay would go from full voltage, decay down, chop off, and then sustain and release. We'll explore this in another patch slightly later in the video. This will work as an LFO with no gate plugged in. It just cycles away on its own. But we're going to get it. Let's plug a gate in. Go to exponential. This is just controlling a VCA and a folder mount in the patch. Let's explore the re-trigger by putting in a random gate into the trigger in. Let's just patch in some random voltages that have been triggered per clock pulse, which is this gate input. And let's hear the envelope change. And you can see these LEDs showing us which stages are active. Go linear. So it can be a really expressive, and it takes the heavy modulation really well, but a really expressive modulation source. Let's get into different patches showing off the LFO, the unique functions of the expander, and explore that in some different patching. So this patch is set up to explore the CV mode on the expander. Now we've got the attack, decay, sustain and release outputs, which can be the logic, which is just the gate out while that's active, or the actual CV from the envelope as if we've chopped up the attack, decay, sustain and release stages. And I've not seen this anywhere before. It's a really cool, unique feature. So you can see on the Mordax data, the green line coming up is the attack and this is from the attack output. Blue coming down is decay, red or purple is kind of the sustain, and the yellow is the release. So this is the actual envelope shape we'd get, but this is attack, decay, sustain, release into the scope. So rather than gate outputs, as I said, you actually get the chopped up envelope. It's a really unique feature. I'm using the two green stackables, splitting out to rings, which is pinging a sound in stereo. The blue stackable is pinging elements, which is a little bell-like sound at the end. So even though these are CVs, you can ping sounds from them. Because these sounds have been triggered from the stages of the envelope, anything we do to this will affect it. Let's go to log. Let's throw some CV in, see how all this reacts. The sound in the background is being triggered by the envelope, 
the wavetable and the triggering of the sounds, as I said, comes from the expander. So the decay that time was so long it missed the sustain phase and then pinged the release. Same with the attack there. So when these stages, as you just heard, are longer than the gate time where they don't reach the sustain, this sustain period won't fire any sound off. So it's dependent on everything that's going on, it becomes a real great hub to modulate a patch. So while we've seen the CV outputs on the scope, we've only been using them as triggers still, so we can still trigger modules from changing voltages. Let's move to a patch where these actually affect different parts of their sound. So the attack, you'll hear something else rise in. The decay, you'll hear something go up to full voltage and decay and then we'll check out another patch with a CV expander. So after what's kind of part one of this patch with these sounds and, well, nearly the exact same patch setup, let's continue to demo the CV mode on the expander. We were in the CV mode so I could break down on the scope and show you how these different colors relate to the different CV outputs that's really quite unique, splitting up the envelope so you get the rising attack, then a cut to zero, a shoot up from zero to full voltage and the decay and then snap off as sustain starts. What I've done this time though is patch these splits of these signals out into VCAs to control the sounds. So the core sound that you hear this wobbly wavetable is taking the full envelope output. This sound is just got a VCA for that yellow signal there when that is opening and closing a VCA. So let's play around with the release. And short. So this release is controlling that sound. And this, this sound is taking both the attack and the sustain. So you can hear that rising attack time, cut off through the decay, and then hold through sustain. Let's turn up the attack. Let's go to log. And I bring the other sounds back. Let's throw some CV in again. So again, it's a really potentially expressive and intermingled connected modulation hub to do timing, more split up, cut up envelopes in this really unique mode on the expander. It's just a great module, it's really fun. So let's demonstrate the black VCEG as an LFO. With no gate input, this will just cycle. Sustain and decay are all the way down, and attack and release were like a standard kind of function generator to set the rise and fall or the attack and release times. So we can make saws. Ramps. Any variation of the two. 
sticking with even times for a triangle like LFO, we can change the shape for a log attack and an exponential decay. At the minute I'm using the bipolar output to open a filter and there's some spring reverb and delay in the background. We're just looking on the scope at the actual envelope output for now. Going back to linear. What's unique with this envelope is to start with the decay has no effect but turning up sustain will add a sustain period into the LFO. So it's got a preset sustain level, which is what we'd normally set in envelope mode, and this becomes a sustain time. So let's introduce a hold in the middle of this LFO. So you can see now this shape rises, holds, and then releases. Another unique element is, once we have some sustain and hold, we can decay to actually get a full four stage envelope that will loop independently. So there we see a rise, a fall, a sustain and a release. Attack, decay, sustain, release. Obviously all this is under CV, as we've seen in the rest of the video. Change shape again. speed all of this up. We can use the triggering to reset this, but if we send in a long gate, it will actually kind of freeze the output, or at least hold it while it's off. Let's plug in a gate. I'm just going to take this back to a faster envelope. Back to linear. Let's re-trigger this. So you can see it finishes that release stage and then holds off. So triggers would work great just to reset and sync this, but a long gate will actually sort of freeze this off and not let that cycle. As we've just looked at the CV mode on the expander, which as we said is a really unique function, let's stop looking at the normal envelope and go to look at the CV hours. So if we increase the time a little bit. see this output green gives us the attack only as if we've just chopped the first portion of the envelope off blue decay ready purpley pink sustain and yellow release as opposed to the logic mode which just gives us gates let's take the trigger out Let's just plug in a random voltage sample and hold into that release time. Let's go to log. Great as an LFO as well, really unique source. We've got the two envelope outputs inverted out and the bipolar out on the expander as well. 
So let's explore some pretty thumping drum patching, uh, showing how tight and responsive these are using the logic output on the expander. First, here's the patch, and then we'll unpatch and dissect this. So, let's break this patch down. I have some hats, simple noise, snare, and some reverb, a bass. But what we'll be listening to is this kick. So, let's pull the patch and go back to the basics with it. So if I unpatch the right envelope, this is controlling the pitch, this is controlling level. The leftmost envelope is the green top line on the scope, the right one, the blue bottom line. So here's just a kick. Fairly soft sounding kick drum patch. Could be log. But I just want a fairly soft kind of linear amplitude. We have some modulation of the decay time. Just occasionally lengthening that decay of the amplitude. Here's the envelope going to pitch. super tight snappy envelopes. Now, again this could be linear or log. Let's just shorten this slightly. Now for ease of use and kind of extended range, these pots go from zero seconds up to a second and a half. So it's really easy to fine tune nice tight snappy envelopes and that log attack exponential decay and release on the log switch really helps. Let's lengthen this again. Fairly long but let's just mess with this decay on the pitch. So it's really easy to get that nice, tight thump from the kick. In fact, let's modulate sustain. And this is just random modulation, so occasionally we might get a spike in that sustain level. There we go. This expander is in logic mode, giving us a gate output for the attack, decay, sustain and release stages. Let's take the sustain output, which isn't always reached, and we've got the LEDs to show their activity, and actually re-trigger our amplitude from that. You can see we're getting these kind of double kinks in the top of the envelope. If I shorten this, see in here this kind of dudum, this really quick re-triggering. If I was to modulate the decay time, this re-triggering will be different because it will reach the sustain period at a different time. I've also got a re-trigger just for the pitch envelope, which is from a random gate moving faster than this steady clock. these re-triggers it won't sustain at all so we're getting quite interactive control between pitch and amplitude. I'm taking the inverted version of my output to sidechain a bass sound. I'm taking the bipolar version to pan my hi-hats and here's a little bit of snare 
quite a complex patch for lots and lots of different control. And it's very interactive with a pair of them as well. So let's end on a nice lush drone, again controlled by these two envelopes. I'll break this patch down. Now, there's a big effects chain which I won't go into. If you want full patch breakdown to stuff like this, go check out my Patreon page where not only can you win one of these modules, I'll go through that at the end of the video, but you get tutorials breaking all these patches down, how they're built. But the envelopes, the thing in question, the black VCEG. Our first envelope is simply just looping. There's no gate input, it's not being triggered. I have influence over decay and sustain to change that timing. And this is just opening and closing the VCA and also modulating my chord sound. The second sound, the bass, is taking the release output and gating the second envelope. As you can see, as this goes high, we gate and we play this envelope through for the bass sound. Bipolar out is changing the tone of this, the main out controlling its VCA. Third sound is triggered by the decay. Again, the logic output on this expander hit the decay stage. This triggers another envelope, which is a simple AD. And because we've got CV over these times, this is very interactive. So this looping envelope, uh, LFO as you've seen earlier in the video, is the whole timing mechanism for the patch, controlling when the bass comes in, re-triggering this third panning sound. It's the whole patch. Let's listen to this for a second. And with this particular patch, it's a really nice, cool way to create a feedback loop that ramps up, it does the kind of bouncing ball patch. Take the decay CV output, just because I'm in that mode, and re-trigger the first envelope. As release hits earlier, the trigger, if you remember from earlier in the video, will trigger an AR, simple two-stage envelope. That triggers this, this triggers that. It works back around, ramps up in speed, until it's faster than this attack time and then drops back again. And as we see CV in these time stages, this is very interactive. So if you want to win one of these modules, this one to be exact, the full module and expander, go to my Patreon page. This isn't a pay to enter giveaway, this is simply those that choose to pay me monthly and support me on Patreon are a bunch of people I think deserve some extras from me and I'm going to give one of these away to some of those guys that have chosen to support me on there. Patreon link's in the description below, if you head to that there's a post on the site, read it, check it out, if you want to win one of these, go do that. Hit like and subscribe, thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out that Patreon link below to win one of these modules.